was going on. So I saw they they had it in like I thought I was winning twenty five dollars. So it was like the deal was like twenty five. I accepted it because it was like fifty dollars or ten dollars. So I accepted the deal they gave me. My 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 case was the fifty dollar one when they flipped it. But I thought it was only like twenty five dollars and it was two hundred. So I would have won five something. Oh, shit. So I didn't even I didn't even know what the hell was going on. And so yeah, I'm an idiot. Well, I, that's one thing I definitely know about you is you're not that technically advanced. I'm definitely not. I'm surprised I'm on air with you right now. Well, that's because I called you. I know, but like, so what I did is I hooked I hooked myself up to my my speaker and everything downstairs. Oh, I got you. And and that's shocking for me to be able to figure that out. Well, see, you're a pro. Yeah, see, I can I I can hear my wife laughing right now upstairs, is that what that so was? she's listening. I yeah, that, that was, was her a, laughing. I thought that was an injured cat. <laughs> it sounded like it. That's how her laughs are. Oh God, <laughs> dude! I'm I'm yeah, excited so, to be back doing this, man. It's it's been so freaking long, dude. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do the show last night, so I was kind of itching. So I know that's why I'm like, uh, you know, get you back on and get you going. Yeah, absolutely. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a bit of a change up from from what I was doing. Um, and oh, yeah. I'll kind of I'll kind of go into that because I haven't really you know been open about it yet. Um, it's not that I feel like the way I was doing my Out of the Shadows prior to now was was bad or anything like that, but I quickly found out after doing a few episodes that as soon as I would get off the air, I would get these these messages from people being like, why didn't you ask this or this or that? And, you know, it's easy for me to say, well, you should have just been in the chat, you know what I mean? And, like, said this stuff. Yeah, I would have yeah. asked the question. But um, it just kind of made me think, like, it's really it's really helpful to have other point of views, you know, from hearing from different people. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not easy to do it on your own. Dude, it's so tough to do it on your own. I mean, because you know, I mean, I mean, a lot of times you're, you're concentrating on, you know, even the message board. You're concentrating on trying to listen to the answer, but also the next question. Exactly. And yeah, it's it's just it's not easy. And it was really tough for me because, dude, I didn't. Uh, I wanted I wanted to do the shows just completely freestyle. You know what I mean? Just wherever my yeah. head took me, like that's where we're gonna go. So I didn't. I wasn't the person that would sit there and have thirty questions wrote out. You know what I mean? If I get stuck, uh -huh. oh, I can just refer to this. No, it's just rolling with it. So, so you well, know, when you have when you have when you have somebody on that's batshit crazy. And, and, and also, you know, throws you off. Yeah, and literally everything you're saying is complete, or everything they're saying is completely <laughs> batshit crazy. It's hard to question everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, no, I think it's a good idea what you're doing. I think it's going to be a good show. Yeah. So anyway, what was I, I forgot what I was thinking, but I'm I'm going to be uh, anyway having some uh, some other co-hosts on with with different opinions and. Uh, um, I know one of the guys that's in my group, uh, Sean is going to do a few episodes with me and he is, he is a very opinionated person, uh, in, in his own right. And he will, he'll argue about anything. So it's going to be a very interesting one. And same thing with, with Jerry, who's also in my group, uh, and another very opinionated person. So it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be a little bit of a clash, but, um, yeah, and especially with I think with Sean in particular because he doesn't he's very skeptical of everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like he was the skeptic who joined our group, and I kind of liked it when he joined because it's nice to have that that person that really isn't you know full blown into the paranormal and researching everything and kind of already having these um, preconceived notions about things. Like he was completely just you know. Yeah, fresh yeah, yeah. plate so it's nice it's refreshing yeah, to have I think, that i think it sounds like it's going to be good and if you ever need somebody to come on and talk about their shitting habits you know that i'm volunteering <sighs> yep i already I, I got a professional for that <laughs> just put a couple drinks in me and i'll be glad to talk about my <laughs> shitting habits i still gotta make you a hot dog water t-shirt <laughs> Yeah, and I don't let me go into the store and try to create stuff. 
Because I butch I butchered our store. I apologize. I, uh, I, I was so dumb. I didn't even look at what you created. I just went in there and deleted it. <laughs> Shannon told me, she's like, what were you even thinking going in there? She's like, you don't go in there. You tell us what you want. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. So if you go into the store, you might be able to buy a shirt that has like five different symbols all over one another. <laughs> Well, it's not there anymore. I deleted it. So, <laughs> okay. uh, and I couldn't figure out how to delete it. So, hey, I gotta say though, there's a there's a couple people that have bought some shirts. You know, I bought two of them. Yeah. I bought uh, you yeah, know one of the cool. exposing reality radio logo shirts, and then I bought one of my group shirts in there just to kind of you know see the quality of them and whatnot. And I gotta say, man, I'm actually wearing one of them right now, and it's very I... very comfortable. Um, and it's pretty nice. I, I've went in there and I think I've put almost, well, I'm going to double check this tomorrow, but I've put everything to where we're not even really making anything off it. If we make a dollar off one of these shirts, I, I'd be impressed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I really yeah. don't care. Yeah. I just want, want people able to be able to have it. So, you know, I got yeah. each of these shirts, I think shipped to me, uh, for 15 bucks. So, you know what I mean? That's not bad at all. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good deal. Yeah, yeah I was going to buy uh, the one uh, Conspiracy Order shirt that I made. And, uh, you know, like a network shirt. I'm going to actually buy, every, whenever we get shirts on it, I'm going to try to buy, like, a, sh- a shirt of each one. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm trying to, like, you yeah. know, every paycheck, just grab one or two. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it came pretty quick, yeah. dude. I got to say, I think I had it in, like, a week, in a week and a half. Really? Like, it came oh, really okay. fast for me. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I like the kill yourself shirt. Yeah, I gotta get one of those. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the cons- the kill yourself one and then the uh, the Bobby one. I feel like I want to get the Bobby one next. <laughs> yeah, he was he was pretty proud of that one. <laughs> it's, His eyes lit up when he saw that. <laughs> it's just as I come up with as I think of things, I'm just gonna put it up there because I mean I can literally create anything and just put it up there. It's no it doesn't cost anything. I'm not hiring somebody to do it. It's yeah. it's me making it. You know what I mean? I got, so I, I gotta get a flat earth and a hot dog water shirt. I was thinking of your hot dog water one and I was trying to figure <laughs> out like how how it could work and I thought about, you know, maybe just having like a stick figure hot dog, you know, with a with stick figure arms <laughs> kinda like chilling in a in a pot of water or something. You know, like a hot tub or something. I don't know. (laughs) The best part about the whole thing is, and I've I've told my wife, I don't know why I like people knowing about my shitting habits. I really don't. It's a really weird thing. But the best thing that I've ever had was somebody tagged me on Facebook, and it was a woman, and it it was something about hot dog water. And I'm like, the best part of this whole story is the fact that a woman was tagging me about hot dog water, knowing that that's what I refer to my shitting habits. <laughs> and I don't know why I loved it. I, I saw your post that you did yesterday or the day before or something <laughs> of that of that pipe that's like exploding <laughs> with dirt water. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I don't know what goes through my head. Well. But I will say, this is my first interview that I'm giving... After I've declared myself a paranormal expert today, oh yes, I, I I don't know if you saw if you saw that. I think you saw that post. I, I did see the post, um, and I was wondering if you have a certificate <laughs> or something to prove that. Because I'm going to have not... a certificate made. Okay, okay, and it, it my house, you know, and the the you know, so it's I'm going full below, full bore here. All right, it's, you just you just know it's not official until you have. A certificate. The certificate is being printed. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a master yeah, unicorn yeah. trainer too, huh? Exactly, exactly. And I posted my evidence today of a apparition that I've been holding on to for about five or six years. And I posted that on Facebook today too. <laughs> you. So what made you hold on to this for six years and not put it out? You know, I just didn't, so, you know, with, with the way that God has come to me and wanted me to, you know, give me these abilities to speak to the other side, it was something that I just haven't accepted over the past few years. And 
it's cool that I caught. I just I didn't think the public was ready for it yet. It was too much. So, so yeah, it's just it's too real, too good. So I figured now is the time. Now that I'm accepting my abilities, that I am going to go ahead and look for a TV personality to now make a documentary on this and show the world what what I. It's it's only fair to the public that you do this. I mean, you know, I very much longer. Yes. I'm here to show what is on the other side, and that's going to happen. You're sounding like a robot now. I didn't get any of that. I uh, yeah. See, because he doesn't want me talking about it. I don't know who that is, but they're definitely not letting you talk. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Here, let's See? hang up and let's try this again. Hold on. Okay. So, sorry about that, guys. Um... As you can imagine, uh, Facebook just wants to be an ass, but that's okay. We're going to try and get him back on the air now, see if we can hear him. Um, I will say that if, are you there? I will say that if, um... Hold on one second. Stupid Facebook. Damn you. I'm I'm just saying, what I was going to say is, we definitely have to get him a uh, um, I Was Chosen by God t-shirt. Richard, you there? Hello. There you are. They don't want me talking about it. Oh my god, dude! You're sounding. You're still kind of sounding crazy. Am I? Yeah. There you go. Better. Uh, it's like halfway better. <laughs> Hang on. See, that's what I'm talking about. Love to talk about it. Yeah, you can't talk about your abilities like that without charging oh, money. Tone. Oh, that's the tone of that. Is that is that better? Or am I still like? Yeah, I can't hear a word you're saying. So. The shit is fucking up. I hope you guys brought your umbrella. Because shit, storm is here. <laughs> nope, you still sound like a robot. All right, let me call you. There you go, that's better. Uh, better? Yeah, that's perfect, right there. All right, I'm just going to sit here and freeze like this. All right, good, don't fucking move, dude. And I'm not going to talk about my abilities because obviously the world's just not ready for it. I'm just saying we need to get a t-shirt made um, that I was saying, you know, as we were trying to connect that um, a, a t-shirt made for you that says I was chosen by God. That would be I feel like powerful. that would hit the masses, man. That would be pretty powerful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know who you need to go after? You need to go after those those people that have shirts that say para whore. Yeah. You, you know, to, that would be. Maybe we start that. Yeah, you need to cleanse them. Yeah. Because, I mean, you can't get more powerful than that. Yep. You need to be the complete, utter opposite of the crazy people. Yeah, yeah. I think you and yeah. Huff need to need to team up and take over the world, man. We could go there. We could try. You know? But yeah, I mean, the footage that I'm releasing and the, the picture I posted, it's pretty powerful. <sighs> I just, you know, I still think it's too early. What what really made you decide that, that now people are open-minded enough to get this out there and to understand it? You know, I think it was after this uh, documentary that you sent me. Okay, and that's that's great that you're you're bringing that up because I have a I have a nice little. Uh, Chit chat we could have see, about that fucking movie. See, it's, it's called Segway. You like that? Yeah, I like it, man. You're you're teaching me. <laughs> Look, the expert <laughs> is showing his ways. Uh, <laughs> Teach so me. So, what do you think of it? We, we, let's get into it. All right. I think 
it's only fair that I do uh, a little bit of, of backstory before I get into my opinion, because I really think that my opinion has kind of, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily say that it's changed, but it has definitely evolved from what it originally was. So 